So captains, we know that Boeing has a stronghold within the freighter market. Boeing are so successful with their planes that majority of the planes that have been created by Boeing have been converted into freighters. There's the 737, the 747, the 757, the 767 and also the 777. Now Boeing has had a majority share of the freighter market for quite some time now and it's unfortunate that Airbus hasn't really stepped up their game. However, there is good news. There are numerous reports circulating within the industry that Airbus are now considering the A350 freighter. Now this is great news because we know that the A350 is already a successful aircraft. Airbus haven't been doing so well with their current freighter, the A330, and considering that it's only had around 36 orders, it hasn't done so well. Now, in terms of the actual plane itself, well, it's going to be based on the A350-900, which is actually a great plane due to its size. Due to the requirements of a freighter aircraft, the plane is only going to be extended by a couple of feet to accommodate that need. So right off the bat, Airbus are going to be doing quite well when it comes to their freighter aircraft. If you compare the A350 against the 777X or the 777-300ER, then the A350 has a way better fuel burn and also economics. However, we know that freighter demand is different compared to a passenger service. So how will Airbus actually go forward with this aircraft? Well, according to the company themselves, they're thinking of releasing the A350 freighter in five years time, so which will be around 2026. This will give them enough time to be able to produce the aircraft, do their test flights and also get it into certification. If it does well, then I can expect that Airbus will get a lot of orders. So when we're thinking about customers for the A350, who will Airbus go to? Well, it only makes sense to go to those airlines that already operate the A350. So the airlines that have the biggest fleet of the A350s is Qatar Airways, Singapore Airlines, Cathay Pacific and also Lufthansa. Each four of these airlines have their own freighter division operating numerous aircraft. So if Airbus are able to get their foot in with the A350 freighter, then they can expect considerable amount of orders because these airlines already operate the aircraft and there's already normality. Airbus have also reported that they're going to be approaching FedEx and also UPS. Now captains, we know when a freighter airline orders, they don't hold back. So if they do manage to win an order from these freighter airlines, then they're gonna be balling. Having said all of that captains, we have to ask the question, is it the right time for a freighter? In my humble opinion, I think it is a good time. We're currently in a pandemic and majority of the countries are in need of vaccines. And in order to get those vaccines, we have to fly them out there. So there's a huge demand for freighter aircraft at this moment in time. And we've seen many examples of commercial airliners being converted into freighters. For example, the 777-300ER has been converted into a freighter, which never would have been had it not been in the pandemic. Boeing also projects that within the next 20 years, 2,500 new freighter aircraft will be needed. So we can see there's a huge demand going forward. Now, the success of the A350 lies in the aircraft itself. If Airbus are able to create an aircraft which is reliable, lightweight and environmentally friendlier, then we can expect a lot of orders to come their way. But we know that the market is dominated by Boeing aircraft. So we'll just have to wait and see regarding what happens. Anyways, captains, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good idea for Airbus and do you think they'll succeed? If not, then let me know why in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe for more aviation videos and also hit that notification bell for when videos are uploaded. And I'll catch you guys very soon.